Hey guys, welcome back to Acrylic Painting with Julie E. If you're just joining us, I'm Julie E. And today I'm gonna to show you how I created this. Please stick around to the very end. There were some real surprises creating this one. And um, yeah, um, new paints do new things. As <laughs> This one is proof. I hope you enjoy. And these are the colors we're gonna be using. We've got Titanium White by Creative Inspirations there. Wonderful Art Angel gave me all these Lucas Krill Studio Acrylics. We've got, let's see, Indigo. We've got Prussian Blue. We've got my favorite, Raw Umber. And then we've got Mint. And then we've got Arctic. Very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Art Angel. These are all mixed with Elmer Skolu and water. That's it. Nothing else. Elmer Scoop Blue, water, 70, 30. Mix in your paint, ready to go. Okay, I really want to do this. Let's see if our cell activator works. This is Amsterdam Titanium White and Elmer's School Blue Pouring Medium, 70, 30. These are all mixed one part paint, two parts pouring medium. This is mixed one part paint, three parts, three. Three parts pouring medium. Okay, let me bring you down and we'll get started. I've never used these um, Lucas Krill Studio paints before, so I'm really excited and a little bit nervous. I don't know how they're gonna take the lacing across the top and all that kind of fun stuff, so. But we'll find out, right? We'll find out together. I'm gonna lay the base coat down real quick right now. And um, this is just, that titanium white from um, Creative Inspirations. Let's start drizzling some colors. I'm just gonna drizzle them any which way. It's kind of like a, I guess we'd call this a chaos bloom. <laughs> Love mint, especially next to chocolate. <laughs> oh, lots there. Okay. There we go. This is the Arctic. God, that's a pretty color. Such a pretty color. Okay. My Arctic just sank. Sank, sank, sank. My goodness. All right. Yeah, it is just sinking. It's a sinker. Gotta remember to mix that one a little bit thicker than the rest. Huh. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> here comes the fun part. All right. I'm gonna put down our cell activator. Right there, okay. All right, and we're gonna blow. Ah, I missed. Shoot. And I got it too high. Darn it. Ah, oh. come on, think it through, Julie. Think it through. Let's go. 
huh? Yep, you're racing. Well, poo. Nope. My cell activator is not working tonight. I don't know what is going on. Hmm. Don't know what's going on. All right. Okay, so we roll with it, right? We just roll with it. We don't get flustered, flummoxed, vexed. <laughs> Any of those fun words that describe frustrated. We just roll with it because it's just paint, right? It's just paint. The idea was there, but this is not working. Okay. So let's start there and just work down. There we go. It's not like we don't have plenty. We can tip down here. I still think this could look really cool. I do, I do. It's very pretty. Very pretty. And we have plenty of paint on here. So let's say we just tilt it out and if we need to, we'll throw a model on it. All right. Tip it off that side first. Bring it back to me. Come off this corner. Okay. And then, oh, I did not put a flow extender down over there. Okay, I've got plenty on the mat. Plenty on the mat. I should have just left what was there and used that for a flow extender, huh? Oh my god, and my lids are getting filthy. We did not plan for this. <laughs> we did not plan for this. Okay, there we go. Floral Extender Palooza. There we go. All right. All right. So, in. Let me just lock this down. I don't know if it's still in frame for you guys, because it's a tall one. I'm going to get paint between my toes on this one. I know it. I know it. I do. I do. Oh, that is pretty. I love these colors. I'm a little perturbed that my uh, aqua sank, but my mint is showing up really nice and pretty. There's a lot of paint on here, a lot of tipping. Not a fan of that corner over there at all. Come on. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Come on. Okay, now that corner. Come on. Keep going. Being stubborn. Ooh. Get that out. Getting all kind of agate looking. Yeah, I'm still moving fast, so we still got more to tip off. Bring it back this way, see if we can just get it to completely go down. There we go. Don't want to lose too much of that really pretty mint. There we 
Okay. Let's just go side to side now. weird Saturn's rings corner off of there. to paint but it's pretty very pretty very very pretty all right let me wash my hands up with that oh my gosh what is going on this is why I love using new paints what is up with that I don't know if you can see that I got like confetti like a dusting of confetti cells holy moly holy moly they're kind of cute. They're very cute. Boy, that's unexpected. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. I sound like Chili Cube. Wow. Okay. I wonder if I torch here, I'll get some of the brown that went under the mint. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at them. There's no silicone or anything in these. This is just glue and water and paint. Ooh. Wow. Like the more I leave it sit and then go back and torch, the more come up. This is so strange. Are you guys seeing this? Oh my goodness. This is far out and trippy. So trippy.
Believe it or not, I'm speechless. I'm just, I'm speechless right now. I don't know what to think. I don't know <laughs> what to think. Huh. Wow, okay. Let me start scraping at my drippings while I try to assess this. Yeah, it was all really nice and pretty and just kind of ribbony. And then as soon as I torched, all these little cells, like, I don't know, confetti, I guess? I don't know what it was called. They all started popping up. Yeah, it's definitely different. Right? <laughs> I mean, as for as long as I've been painting with school glue, I, I don't remember ever having this happen. Uh-uh. Gotta be one of the other paints reacting. It's gotta be. It's gotta be this new paint. That is insane. Look at that. It looks like silicone is in there. Micro silicone dots. <laughs> They're everywhere. You know when you're at the beach and all of a sudden you find this one little area in the cove and it is just littered, littered with itty bitty little baby seashells, like little baby snail shells and clam shells and yeah, <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of finding just a ton of itty bitty baby shells that have all been shedded and washed ashore. This is insane. They're all, they're multicolored. Check that out. Holy cow. Yeah, totally. Totally was not expecting this. They're not as pretty as we get down here. But it's still cute. Oh, look at that little corner. Looks like a little tiara. Looks like a little tiara. Oh my gosh. That is kind of pretty. Okay, I take it back. It is pretty in this little area of it too. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, well, I guess we will see how it dries. Oh my god. Nutso. Nutso, nutso, nutso. Look at all the rings around some of them. Ugh. This is just wild. Sorry. I'm still, still coming to terms with it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Far out. We will be back for dry results. So there you have it. Um, yeah, that's what happened, and it dried beautifully. It is beautifully dried. Just needs a coat of varnish once it's fully cured, and we will be good to go. But look at those cells. Oh my god. Yes, those cells are absolutely adorable. And they remind me of the teeny little baby clamshells you find around the tidal pools. I just love it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Until next time, loves and hugs you all. Bye.